I'm going to tell you everything you want to know about the new 2949 Origin 315P, and we're starting right now. Origin jump boards at your service. Core system operational. Welcome to a Star Citizen's Buyer's Guide. What's up, citizens? This is Subliminal here, and today we'll be discussing the features, functions, and benefits of the Origin 315P. And we'll compare those features amongst competing ships so you can make an informed buying decision. We'll cover a brief overview, review stack comparisons, go over weapons, discuss components, review available customization options, look at the exterior, take a tour of the interior, review pros and cons, and finish up with my thoughts on the ship being reviewed. If this is our first time meeting, be sure to check out some of my other reviews in this series and consider subscribing. Now let's get to it. Exploration is man's highest calling. Prepare to chart distant horizons with man's most sophisticated technology, the Origin 315P. Featuring a more robust power plant and a custom scanning package designed exclusively by Chimera Communications. The 315P is manufactured by Origin Jumpworks, a Terra-based spaceship and engine manufacturer of high quality and luxury products. The Origin 315P is the exploration variant of the 300 series. The 315P is one of four 300 series variants. The 300i, 325a, and 350r are also available. Check the description and end screen for my reviews on those. The 315P is currently flight ready. As of today, it is available for purchase and upgrade on the Pledge Store for $65, and on average sells for $79 on the gray market. It is not currently available to purchase with Alpha UEC. With that out of the way, let's see how it compares to other ships you might be considering. For comparison, I've selected the following 10 ships. The Google Sheets document with the data is linked in the description. If this is your first time here, check the Google Sheet or pause the screen for an explanation on how I have selected and compared ships. This comparison is of the base model 315P. Check the Google Sheet to see how the other available customization packages compare. The 315P comes in at around 66,000 kilograms. It has a max crew size of 1, has a cargo capacity of 12 SCU, great for a ship this size. It has over 6,100 hit points across its body. This ranks 4th, tied with the rest of the Origin 300 series. Its shields rank 7th place and can withstand just under 6,500 hit points of damage. Has a sustained gun DPS of 710. This is low, but to be expected for an exploration ship, as well as its burst DPS of 896. It has a combined missile payload of under 1300, also low, also expected. It has a fuel capacity of over 52,000 fuel units. It has a max yaw pitch rate of 68 degrees per second. This takes fifth place. Has an SCM speed of 204 meters per second. The Origin 300 series does well here. And its top speed of over 1200 takes fourth place and is also pretty good. Its quantum drive has a 41 megameters per second quantum speed. The 315P takes last place here, very disappointing. So travel from Port Alizar to Arc Corp will take you about 16 minutes and 55 seconds. Its QT range of 65 gigameters takes 6, so it can travel from Port Alizar to Arc Corp 1.5 times before needing to refuel. Now let's talk about its firepower, or lack thereof. The 315P comes with two size 3 weapon hardpoints and one size 3 tractor cannon on the nose. On the wings, we have two Shredder Ballistic Autocannons each. One Shredder is size 3, has 112 physical damage, with 240 RPM for a total of 448 DPS and a 2700 meter range. On the nose, it has one Sure Grip Tractor Cannon that cannot be replaced with a weapon. For missiles, it has two MSD-212 missile racks with one Tempest II each. Tempest IIs are size 2, our cross section has 645 mixed damage, a 2.72 second lock time, and a 5400 meter lock range. Now for the components. The standard components available on the 315P are as follows. It has two size 1 heat safe coolers that provide 180,000 max cooling per second each. One size 1 sonic light power plant with over 2200 max power generation per second each two size 1 shimmer shield generators with over 3200 capacity each and last but not least we have one size 1 goliath quantum drive with a 41 megameter per second quantum speed and a 10 second cooldown let's briefly talk about customization to see all of the 315p customization options including color trim and weapons packages add the guide here to your watch later list we will be getting down to brass tacks 
The 315P has two additional packages available to purchase. Here's what you need to know. With the XC package, for an extra $6, you get no additional shield protection, 23% more sustained DPS, 7% more burst DPS, no additional missile payload, a 27% quantum speed bump, and a 9% quantum range improvement. As for the GT package, $16 gets you no additional shield protection, 40% more sustained DPS, 11% more burst DPS, a hefty 70% missile payload bump, 4% more quantum speed, and a 18% quantum range improvement. Let's take a look at the exterior. The standard 315P features a nice gray and yellow paint job. On the nose, you will see its Sure Grip Tractor Cannon and its distinct 300 series LED lights. In the wings, you will notice retro thrusters. Under the wings, we have our Shredder Ballistic Cannons. Around the rear, we have our main thrusters. You can also clearly see its uni-wing design. Underneath, we have two cargo bays, one with eight SCU of cargo space and one with four. Now for the interior. To the left, we have the cockpit. The pilot seat features four MFDs and a radar. The 315P does come equipped with an ejection feature. Behind us, we have a head. On the starboard side, we have a bed. New to the 2949 315P is a functional MFD in the bed so you control your pilot while you sleep. In the rear, we have a clothing locker, a functional but not yet persistent weapon rack, and some wine glass storage shelves, because it's origin, we're fancy. On the port side, we have a mini fridge and a sink. Also available from the manufacturer at an additional cost is a coffee machine, food maker, and sound system. On the subject of additional options, there is an available picture frame and digital clock next to the bed. I would say its pros are 12 SCU of cargo space is pretty good for such a small ship. Its max speed and SCM speed are pretty good as well. Its cons are, well, there are a lot. Its shield generators are subpar, sustained and burst DPS are terrible, and its quantum speed and range are disappointing. So, my thoughts. The 315P suffers from the same pitfall as all exploration ships or any other ships with not implemented gameplay mechanics. I've chosen to approach this review series from the aspect that unfinished mechanics will affect the buyer's decision heavily. If you are looking to haul as much cargo as you can without bumping to the Cuddy Black's $100 price tag, then this is the way to go. But as of right now, that would be the only use case for this ship. If it had the ability to remove the tractor cannon and equip a size 3 weapon, that would greatly change things. However, I understand why this isn't possible. And if you are considering upgrading to the 315P GT for an extra firepower, don't bother. It won't even exceed the firepower of the base 300i. However, once salvaging or exploration is implemented into the game, this will be a must-have if you would like to dabble in that type of gameplay without spending a ton of money. Let's continue this conversation down in the comments. The next ship in my review series will be the Origin 325A. I would like to know your thoughts on it, the new Origin 315P, and what ship you would like to see next down in the comments. Did you like this review? Like it. Consider subscribing by clicking the circle here. Check out some of my other reviews in this series here. And if you enjoy my content and would like to support the channel further, check the description for ways to do so. However, your viewership is more than enough. Until next time citizens, I'll see you in the verse.